I'm Hari Kondabolu. Uh, Uma Kondabolu. I came to America in 1981. I was really lucky to grow up um, in Queens just because it was a very diverse place, like lots of immigrants and the children of immigrants, people with documents, without documents. When I was raising them, Hari was too polite and too soft. So one day he came home, he started, I'm hungry, give me food. I asked him, I gave you lunch, why are you so hungry? And he said, particular guy is taking my food. I said, just talk to him, this is not right, you are also hungry, you need food. If you hit you, hit him back. You're saying that if someone hits you, it's good to pr- return with... No, I said, first talk to him, make him understand. Right. No, ma, <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say. For I, I've never thrown a punch, so uh, clearly no. that lesson wasn't. So again, he comes home. Say, Ma, I, I, I couldn't hit Ma. You, first time, kid taught me a lesson. I'm sorry for interrupting before, Ma. Uh, I, did, I didn't realize the, the story would have a point. <laughs> <laughs> That's on me. Uh, That's on me. But I always taught them to say what you feel and what's right. If I want to change somebody or their opinion of who you are and they don't know anything, I let them see who I am including my vulnerabilities and my strengths. And I don't let them judge me before they know me. That's where I stop. I never give up. That's something that my mother has has very much taught me. How do you treat people? What are your responsibilities to yourself and to others? My mom is the reason my brother and I are very funny. I think just hearing her turn a phrase or take a very dark situation and, and find some light in it, the fact that like she was always able to get people's guards down by making them laugh. I know anyone who's like my mom. I'm a little biased, but a little. <laughs>